Of recent times, there's been a lot of discussion in the creative community about things like the dislike counter going away, the state of the copyright ID system with claims and false claims and such, fair use, as well as should be. But there's one topic that came out last week that is absolutely doing crickets in the creative community. And I sort of know why, but I sort of don't know why at the same time. Let's discuss. G'day Doug here, back with you with some YouTube news and discussion regarding a very interesting topic. Uh, a topic which obviously not enough people were interested in for the fact that this feature that YouTube have been providing for many, many years has been removed, depreciated, it's gone. Now the feature that I'm talking about is what we call the YouTube Creator Academy. Now last week, a tweet went out from none other than Nick Nimmin himself. This is the first I heard of it, it was from Nick Nimmin. And I'm gonna show you the tweet on the screen. I'm gonna read it to you now. Heads up, the YouTube Creator Academy is being depreciated. It is no longer online, which means you'll need to manually hunt down information about best practices. Luckily, a bunch of creators made content to help you with that. Smiley face. Bit of self-promotion there. It was interesting. I mulled on this for like about six hours after Nick posted that uh, the other day. And before I went to bed that evening, uh, me being in Australia, it was uh, morning time in the US. I, I emailed uh, Matt Caval, who is at YouTube Liaison on Twitter. He's the creator liaison for YouTube. He's on staff at YouTube. And I asked him if he had any comment or more information about this. And he actually referred me back to the fact that he just commented on Nick's actual tweet. And this is what he had to say. He confirmed it basically by saying, yeah, a fond farewell to Creator Academy. They decided to disperse the content into surfaces that are used more frequently, like the Help Center and Creator's Channel. Most links should direct you to a relevant article or video. It's bittersweet. I worked on it for years. So Matt was one of the contributors, one of the driving forces about behind building the Creator Academy in the first place. We don't know the full reasons, but this is the basic idea of what's happened is, as with a lot of things that get depreciated on YouTube, they get removed if they're not getting the use. We saw that happen with the music policy tool. That was a real handy tool, but not a lot of people used it. So it was Gonski. And now Creator Academy is Gonski. Now, I can prove that it's gone. If you look to the screen here, it says, uh, this is the link, if I do a Google search, to creatoracademy.youtube.com, which was the original link to it. Now, if I click the link, you get redirected to the YouTube Creators channel. Now, they've sort of revamped and updated and renamed it, because I think it was called something slightly different, but now it's called YouTube Creators. It has about 4.25 million subscribers, so, you know, that's decent. It does get attention, at least in people's subscription feeds. And so now they're doing regular videos and, and all the video based content at least is now in uh, this area here. Now it doesn't help you and is in, in a sense of, unless they publish a video on a certain topic or you go looking for that topic in a playlist or in their uh, video backlog history, unless they do a video on it it's for something that's new, which they probably will, you know, you may or may not get the information that you need in the order that you need it. Whereas Creator Academy could step people through um, the basics of YouTube and getting started on YouTube and so forth. And so it is bittersweet. And so as Matt was saying, what can we do? What What is available to us? Well, I did find a, a new site that they've sort of sprung up as a result of this. It's sort of more of a pared down version where it's not a formal training like Creator Academy but it is information where you can go and find the essentials in one spot. It's this tab here uh, that is at youtube.com slash creators. And, and the heading there, of course, is everything you need to create on YouTube. If we scroll down, this is just the main page. So it's giving us a, a, a feature on YouTube's shorts. And then under that, we've got a section that's called how things work with headings like getting started on YouTube, building your community, how to make money on YouTube, growing your channel. Some of this stuff is certainly in, in theme wise has come over from Creator Academy. Policies and guidelines, programs and initiatives. Um, and then there's a section about top questions. So these is like the top frequently asked questions about YouTube, 
create a basics. I'll show you what some of those questions are in a minute. And then a list of resources at the bottom on how to find information on learning things, which links to the YouTube Creators channel, which is the one I just showed you, as well as um, the Creator Insider channel, which is their informal information communication place, how to get support on YouTube issues, which links to the Help Center and the YouTube Community Forum. If you didn't know those existed, they do exist. You can find links to them here. And then the connect section, how to connect with YouTube via socials and emails and so forth. Our latest tools, tips and inspiration at YouTube Creators, which I believe that's probably the channel. Our real time answers available in English and other languages at Team YouTube, which you might know from Twitter, at Team YouTube. And the latest information resource in the inbox, YouTube emails, we're gonna open both of those. Okay, the at YouTube creators is actually a Twitter account as well. So if you want creator specific information and you want to tweet at YouTube, at YouTube creators. Some of these are summarized back in the top banner here. Uh, welcome, how things work and top questions. I want to jump into top questions real quick because I want to show you, these are the sorts of questions that they're going to deal with. This is like a, a basically a YouTube creator FAQ. Questions like, how do I start creating on YouTube? How do I grow a channel? How do I make edits to my channel? How do I promote my videos? How do trending videos happen? How does the algorithm work? How do I make money on YouTube? How do I fix a copyright strike? How do I fix a demonetized channel? How do I fix a hacked account? So these are questions that they've deemed as the most frequently asked questions, the most commonly asked questions so that they can address them here in one spot. The how things work section, which we showed before is also accessible from the top menu. And we have things like getting started on YouTube. So if we click on that, it takes you to a whole new section about getting started. This is where you can walk through. This is somewhat YouTube Creator Academy-ish, but very basic, it's very pared down, probably simplified, which may be appealing to some people. They might want like the simplicity, so there's not as much detail in it. So here it says, create what you want and how you want. And then we can open up to look at things. We can watch a video along the way. So this is basically walking you through. This is a getting started going on. And then it leads you to where you can go to next, whether it's building your community or growing your channel. So it takes you through. So it's a basic pared down version of Creator Academy, giving you the basics. It's not giving you the advanced stuff. It's giving you the basics. Now the link to this site again is youtube.com slash creators. I'll put it on the screen for you there and it's also listed in the description of this video. Now, the question is, is this sufficient? Is it enough to be able to meet the needs of a new creator who's coming on to the platform? Well, it's certainly a place to get started, but I think you're probably gonna need a little bit more help along the way. And fortunately, we have a group of great creators who are specifically teaching creators of various uh, abilities, sizes, whether they're starting new or been doing YouTube for five years or more. There's, create, there's creators out there who, who are experts in YouTube and are able to, willing and able to help you on your YouTube journey. Now I'm gonna mention some channels then. This is by no means an exhaustive list of channels, but these are ones I can highly recommend. These are ones I've, I know either personally or I uh, frequent their channel on a regular basis. I enjoy their content and find, fa have found it beneficial to me. Now these are all YouTube channels, of course. Nick Nimmin, of course. Even his brother D, Brian G. Johnson, Roberto Blake, uh, Daniel Batal. You can go to Video Creators, which is Tim Schmoyer's channel, and uh, Dara Leaves, of course. They do a lot of this sort of content on Thick Media, so Sean, and there's also a Video Creators, which is Sean and his friend Benji. You can also dive in some of the new and upcoming channels that are coming through as well. You can get resources from channels that are done by companies like VidIQ and TubeBuddy, upcoming channels like Channel Makers and Film Booth, uh, Catherine Manning, Summer Jeffrey, you've got Owen Video in the business space. So you have a lot of people in different areas and there's probably people I'm missing out on. So my apologies if I haven't mentioned your favorite YouTube growth 
create a channel. Find someone in this group that resonates with you, maybe watch several of these channels. So if it is, check out some of these channels and make sure that you find some that you can get behind and get into and, and learn from. So check out some of their content. Other things you can do is listen to YouTube creator-based podcasts. Teachers also have courses, masterminds, membership groups that can help you in a more of a closer to or in fact one-on-one -on -one way. So if you need a consultation or if you need a group coaching or you need uh, to be in a mastermind somewhere you can just bounce questions off people in, in a group on say Facebook or some other forum, Discord. Go check out some of these guys and see what offerings they have. But there is so many places. It is a shame that the YouTube Creator Academy is gone but hopefully the content that our YouTube trainers can bring to you along with the new information that YouTube is providing in, in lieu of the Creator Academy, hopefully that is enough for you to get a start on YouTube. If you've got thoughts about the depreciation of the Creator Academy, it doesn't matter to you. Are you up in arms? Are you like the Creator what? All I can say is Creator Academy, Rest in peace. You want more information about YouTube? I've got a recent video that I did on YouTube right here. It's gonna help you how to use the featured channels and the channel page and everything to do that on your YouTube channel. Well, this is Doug, and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.